Sam and I are at the airport. <laughs> we are just about to board a flight to Inverness in Scotland and we are here for a work reward trip for part of Sam's work. He works in sales and he's done quite well this year so this is the kind of reward trip for people who have done well and we're going to Scotland, we're going to this exclusive castle um, near Inverness. Um, it's normally a posh kind of private members club the sam's company have hired it for a long weekend so we get to go in and see it i don't even know if i'm going to be able to film there because yeah it's a bit of an exclusive venue it's a castle and it's where madonna got married um like however many years ago that was that's still my most current reference for it we've arrived at the castle we've got the hugest room i'm going to do a quick room tour Good afternoon. So this is the bedroom, which is huge. Feels like a living room really, doesn't it? They've got us a little tablet. Don't know what that's for. There's the castle magazine. And then out the window, you can see the front lawn. And then over on this side, very nice. You've got a little water fountain down there. Very pretty, so much land. Look at this old style telephone. This is cool. It's got, um, oh no, it's not. I thought it was a actual, what do you call it? Oh, ring pull, but it's just a, it's a modernized, yeah, it's a modernized old telephone, but still pretty cool. I'm going up to the turret. up at the top of the East Tower, Sam. It's a nice view of the roof. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more. That was a little random mini turret just outside our so room. We thought we'd go and have a look at it. Small empty oriental boxes. <laughs> the house is complete. All right, now you have to see the bathroom. It is huge it's probably about the same size as the bedroom isn't it look at this bathroom absolutely ginormous literally huge <laughs> are you gonna brush your teeth there i can brush my teeth there yeah stay away from my sink yeah. thank you very much and the shower as well bath robes <laughs> just spotted the cute little soap dish penhaligons of london shower gel shampoo body lotion, conditioner, and a vanity kit. Pretty standard, really. One last room, which is over here, and it's just a dressing room. There's a mirror there, wardrobes over here, and here's our luggage. And that's our room. Here's our itinerary for the weekend. So it's Saturday today. So the next thing we've got is afternoon tea in the drawing room, then cocktails and dinner. And then tomorrow there's all sorts going on, falconry, we've got our massage appointments at the spa, there's some quad biking I think Sam's doing, afternoon tea again, amazing, cocktails again, dinner in Mr Carnegie's dining hall, oh a haggis address, a Kaylee band in the front hall, Skibo whiskey of the Skibo estate. No, so it, <laughs> he said it comes from two distilleries. Right. Um, and it's kind of unbranded, unknown. It just comes in a thing and they stick their name on it. Ordinary People by My Judith Guest. Of ordinary People. One, has, one would surmise that they are an awful lot. Size. Yes. Uh, that's my Judith Guest impression. This is a tough choice. Do you choose the Aromatherapy Associates Massage or the Ishka Massage? Sam, do you want to hear the benefits of both? The pros Please. and cons. So the aromatherapy experience massage is a hero treatment and it's in it as in yeah, it's as individual as you are. So you have a consultation with one of the Skibo Spa experts and they'll help determine your emotional and physical needs and you'll work <laughs> together to choose from the oils. Sounds like therapy. Well, I think that's what they're saying. Um, and then the Ishka massage is it, it's a luxury Scottish skincare brand, so it's homegrown, exclusive to the Skibo Spa, 
harvesting organic seaweed from the Hebridean Islands with sustainable methods, you'll be pleased to hear. This invigorating treatment works by combining mama massage, lymphatic drainage, and traditional Swedish massage techniques. So I did something really stupid yesterday. I started to use self-tanning drops um, that I mix in with my moisturiser and I use it every year on my face in kind of the warmer months to give me a little glow and I use the Clarins um, radiance drops I think they're called anyway because I've just started using it for the year I kind of had a little mental blip yesterday and mixed it in with my moisturizer on my hand and then forgot to wash it off so I woke up this morning with this massive great big self tanning stain on my hand which looks absolutely awful I've washed my hands about 30 times today already and I've used vinegar bicarbonate of soda lemon juice nail varnish remover um a salt body scrub basically anything and everything that i googled that said might get rid of it uh, but it's still there so i've covered it up with concealer so yeah this is actually with concealer on it's starting to rub off a bit though because i've washed my hands a few times since putting this on at the airport um so it's not in its worst state but it's also not in its best state either this is the hallway of the castle this is what we came into when we arrived i'm still not sure whether i'm allowed to film down there um so i'll just show you this picture in the magazine which is probably better than what i'd be able to film anyway but it's just amazing look at that staircase and those lovely windows jet fly guys it's the smartest way to fly private in europe just in case you wanted to know so this is one one of the oldest lifts in somewhere isn't it or the last remaining old lift it's like titanic do you remember that scene You didn't tell me you were going to be doing work this weekend. Old school library stairs so you can reach the top shelf. come down to the ground no the basement floor of the castle and this is the gun room cabinet of uh, dead animals over there some big fish look at this chandelier with antlers this room is where you can come and drink some whiskey smoke some cigars look at some guns and some dead things just getting ready to go out for cocktails and dinner um, because we're at the place that we're at and it's quite exclusive all the dress code is formal for all the evening activities and I don't really have many formal clothes in my wardrobe I don't have that many pairs of actual shoes rather than trainers so it was kind of a bit of a challenge to find three different outfits uh, that I could wear for these evenings out here. Uh, so I'll show you the first outfit that I'm gonna wear for tonight. I've worn this pleated green skirt loads in the past couple of weeks, normally in a more casual way with trainers and a t-shirt, but you can also dress it up. This is probably my most casual of the looks that I've got for this weekend. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like being a 1950s post-war lady with this sort of length of skirt and the pleats. And I've got a pale pink top with some flutter sleeves which is from H&M and the skirt's H&M as well and the shoes are just some old things that I've had for ages. I'll also tell you what I put on my face in case you're interested. I had to kind of use um, products that I don't normally use because I'd packed my makeup bag already this morning and I couldn't be bothered to dig it out again. So I had to go and dig around and find things in my drawers that I haven't used in ages. So I've got um, the Clinique CC Cream as a foundation. My lipstick is by Charlotte Tilbury and it is the shade Bitch Perfect. This is my absolute favorite pinky nude. For my brows, I've used Benefit Browsing. I've just got some gold MAC eyeshadow, I can't remember the shade, over my lids, and then black liquid eyeliner, which I think is Urban Decay. And my blush is Benefit, and I think it's California. Oh, and my bronzer is from The Body Shop. It's the Honey Bronze range, I think it's called. I can't remember because I bought it ages ago. Just in a golf cart going off to dinner. Sam driving like a bit of a maniac. It's not a race. No, take it. <laughs> no, don't overtake. <laughs> don't 
I'm an overtake, please. <laughs> Let's just get to dinner in one piece. So to get around um, the grounds, it's either golf buggies that you can drive yourself, or it's Land Rovers that are driven, that have drivers. Right, so we're back in our room after our evening out, and uh, there's a tiger in our bed. What on earth? And he's all tucked in. That's sweet. We got some cards. Do you think the cards are from the tiger? Good morning, internet. Here we see Chloe Bridge. Driving a golf buggy. Driving it's a golf a lot, buggy. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it was A lot safer be. than I tried last night. Yeah, last night was not good. Straight on or left? Uh, left. That way. Down the hill. Down the hill. Um, yeah, last night Sam tried to kill us. Um, we thought it would be a good idea to go out on a golf buggy in the pitch black at about midnight after a lot of drinks. And you almost tipped it. And then I got really cross and demanded that you turn around and go home. So we've had our massage, which was really, really good. And then we decided to check out the swimming pool. I'm in the ladies' changing rooms at the moment, which are really nice. You get these little like lockers, which have um, slippers and a robe in there. Um, and then they've also got all these products. I'm gonna use this Inner Strength Soothing Cleansing Balm, which is like um, a, cle a facial cleanser. So I'm gonna use that in a minute, quite excited about that. And then there is a moisturizer, skin recovery moisturizer, which looks good, and an eye firming serum, and then various hairsprays and deodorants. Give us a little twirl. <laughs> you look very country. It's the afternoon now. Sam has just left me to go quad biking. I decided not to do quad biking. I remember doing it when I was like a child and kind of just, yeah, having this bad memory of um, just being a bit scared of the quad bike because they're just massive, aren't they? So I've decided just to stay here and chill out in the room. I might go for a little sleep. I might go wander with my camera and take some kind of shots of the interior maybe. Um, we've just had a massive lunch. I just keep eating loads because it's all inclusive. You can have whatever you want and that includes dessert as well. So yeah, I've been eating a lot and thoroughly enjoying it, but I I'm feeling a little bit full and sleepy right now. our second evening in the castle. Tonight is a bit of a party night. There's gonna be a Highland fling, um, or as it's known in Scotland, a Cayley. Uh, so we're getting dressed up in our sort of nicest dresses and things and gonna have a bit of a party. I'm about to do something with my hair. I think I'm gonna try and sort of make waves with my straightening irons, which I'm not very good at historically, but we'll see what happens. And before that, I'll just show you quickly everything that I put on my face because it's a little bit different to what I had on there yesterday. So I'll start first with my lipstick shade because that's in my handbag. It's again the same one I was wearing yesterday which is Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. Okay, so I'll start with my base. Um, I first used some concealer which is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer which I got in Sephora when I was in New York. And then my foundation, um, I mix two together at the moment. One is this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is a full coverage foundation. But it's a little bit light for me at the moment so I mix it in with this one, which is Chanel Vita Lumiere, um, which I really love, but it's sort of um, a medium coverage, so sometimes I need a little bit more coverage. So the mix of the two for me works really well. To finish it, I use this finishing powder, which is Urban Decay uh, Ultra Definition, Naked Skin Ultra Definition. And then I use my Body Shop bronzer which is in here i've had this for years so the thing's completely broken off and as you can see i've still got quite a bit left and then i also at the moment am using a little bit of this just to do a tiny bit of contouring which to be honest i'm rubbish at um, but i just like to put it on anyway this is the benefit hula stick um, i used nars orgasm blush today um, i used the browsing palette on my eyebrows 
I use my trusty Charlotte Tilbury mascara. And then I have used my Naked Smoky Eyes palette. This is the only one I brought with me um, because it kind of covers everything I need. It's got some nudes, some golds and some sparklies and then some sort of grey so I can do a smoky eye. So this one is the one I tend to bring with me when I go away. And today I have put this colour combust kind of all over my lower lids and then I have given it a little shimmery gold accent with this colour which is called, I can't read that, my eyesight is awful, Dirty Sweet. Okay so I've done my hair, what I've done is I have just curled the kind of front sections that frame my face and just then the kind of ends of the longest bits. My hair is really thick so I find if I curl the whole lot it just goes really kind of poodly and not very nice so I thought I'd try this. Sam what are you wearing tonight? Full on Highlander. <laughs> You're looking very good. This is probably the one and only time I'm gonna see you in a full-on kilt and all the business. Do you um, feel do you feel the part? No, I feel like an imposter. <laughs> this dress is from Phase 8, which is somewhere I've never shot before. This is a first. It's like just a wrapped stretchy top and then a metallic skirt which is dropping glitter everywhere. <laughs> Good morning, it is 11 o'clock and I've literally only just surfaced out of bed. I've had a pretty horrendous hangover this morning which is rare for me because I don't normally get hangovers because I don't normally let myself go that overboard with drinking I normally switch to like waters towards the end of the night um yeah but last night that didn't happen I went to bed knowing I was feeling quite dodgy didn't get a lot of sleep and woke up early this morning just not even wanting to think or look at food so I crawled back into bed and yeah woke up at 11 and I feel all right now I just need to man up and get outside and get some fresh air I need to find out where Sam is because uh, we've got clay pigeon shooting in half an hour <laughs> what a problem to have um I think he's gone fishing um so hopefully he'll be back soon he was up early and fine this morning normally it's the other way around normally Sam's the one suffering and I'm the one sort of laughing at him for being stupid so it is funny that it is this way around it's not funny at all i feel horrible <laughs> bathroom we have found this little door hidden in the wallpaper it says fire exit i'm gonna open it in a second and see where it goes we're just about to head down for our third and final evening in the castle i'm feeling slightly more human now i've had two naps which helps so today i've got everything the same on my face that i had yesterday except i've gone for slightly different eyeshadow i've gone for kind of gray smoky colors tonight so i've put this shade which is called slanted all over um, my eyes and then just in the kind of outer corners um, i have put this slightly darker shade which is called dagger and these again are from same palette as yesterday which is the Naked Smoky palette. This is my last outfit of the weekend. I've got a uh, wrap top which is from Boohoo. It's actually a body um, and then this is a skirt from H&M. It's got this kind of bit here that kind of just wraps around <laughs> and then my black mules are also from H&M. <laughs> looks really pale in the window light. Like. Your soul looks bad. Your soul. 
<laughs> you can my, see your soul. Oh, my aura, you see. Your aura. I think your aura looks fine. I do think we look really pale sitting yeah. here. Do you think we should move? No. We'll just get on with it. Post. post just do it in post. Okay. Um, but it's the last morning at the castle. We fly home a little bit later today. So I'm going to sign off the video here. Have you had a nice time, Sam? Yep. Yep. Favourite thing? Highlight? Um, just meeting people. Right. Yeah, that's been nice. You know what's been quite nice for me, actually, is like... I feel like I've got a much better insight into the world of your who work, I, who, I who, who you are, yeah, yeah. in a work capacity, because this is the first of these trips that I've been able to go on. A couple of years you went to Mexico, but I was really pregnant with Otto, so I didn't get to go, unfortunately. So yeah, this is the first time I've been to anything like this to do with Sam's work. First time I've kind of met a lot of your colleagues. Um, and yeah, it's been nice. I feel like I kind of get it more now. Good and get an idea of like your sort of day-to-day -day life at nice. work. Staying in a castle that is really old, really bloody old, I think 1222 it was first built, first constructed. Oh really? Yeah, there's a little history of the castle book over there that I kind of studied yesterday. Studied? <laughs> yeah, studied while you were out golfing. It's just insane, the kind of decorative... <laughs> bit tired we're a bit tired it's been a long couple of nights a late couple of nights uh, but yeah all the sort of decorative elements the details the kind of ornateness of it the massive banquet room that was pretty impressive doing things like clay pigeon shooting was really cool as well because i've never done it i probably never would have done it otherwise so it's kind of cool to be able to try that out um and now we're just looking forward to going home seeing the kids getting some rest because it has been quite a full-on weekend um and eating some food some sort of plain food that isn't like really rich and really kind of you know posh dinners posh dinner style it's nice for a few days but it's really hard to kind of eat that way constantly and there's just been food like every three hours there's something to eat thanks for watching Bye. um <laughs> i've enjoyed this uh foray back into kind of vlogging style videos um, and hopefully i will do a little bit more just need to go to more castles. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Any comments, leave them down there in the comments. Click this link for the next video. And that's what they usually say. Yeah, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you, if you like it. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.